in the gentler timeline, in the eight year stretch, it's not one massive solar flare, like everybody talks about the grand solar flash, that's supposed to like create how many days of darkness? I don't know. I can't remember if it was like 30 days or something like that. And and that made sense in the dramatic, unstable, like super shocking four year one. But now that we've kind of stretched things out to the 2028, instead of one massive flare, it's going to be multiple medium flares, which fits the energy of we're still building. It's still happening. We're still going to get there, but it's more... And I mean, solar flares never could really be described as gentle, but it is more gradual, okay? Um, and solar flares, they're really like activators of DNA, ascension energy, the Schumann resonance. They literally change the evolution of a species. Like solar flares have changed over history, Earth history. They have literally changed a species and it starts to evolve into something else and we are that species and we are evolving into the divine human blueprint which is where i mean this is a whole other video but the, which is where the 6d frequency of the physical ascension comes into the body as opposed to the 5d frequency of the consciousness ascension or awakening which is more of your consciousness and your your invisible energy it's going to become a lot more physical um but and okay, and then in these more medium flares, um, any blackout that does happen, which definitely has the potential to do so, because I was shown that our systems of like electricity and the internet and all the things are actually a lot more fragile than a lot of people realize, or maybe you do realize, um, but any blackouts, which are definitely still potential and probably highly possible, will be shorter and temporary. Okay, we'll get back up online. I don't think we're gonna lose um, I don't see us losing something like the internet permanently. I don't see that same feeling, that apocalyptic feeling of that shorter, um, more dramatic timeline. Uh, and, and if that happens, you guys, if it happens, any kind of a blackout, it's just due to a solar flare. Solar flares are really powerful and they have an electromagnetic pulse or force that can just kind of like knock out our satellites for a little bit, which means you might lose electricity or internet. Don't panic. It isn't going to be permanent. Okay. Um, and, and, and the solar flares are building too. Each year they get a little stronger and that's for our systems to get, it's again, it's for us. It's to help us. That's for our systems to get used to them in a more gradual way. And now we've been granted this extra period of time, which is really beautiful. So um, a lot of people will ask me about things like, well, how can I prepare for something like this? I really truly believe that the best preparation is within. Um, it, it is, it's like the best preparation is to have your own offshoot timeline of a higher frequency where you live, visit the collective like when you have to, but otherwise you're, you're lifting the whole thing up anyway by being connected to humanity. Um, you can't disconnect from humanity if you are a human, so don't worry, your offshoot timeline will help. Um, so that's like really the best way to prepare is to do the inner, inner work, do the mindset work, do the frequency work, do the soul retrievals, do the inner child work, like heal through the Akash and heal through your inner child. Do your best to really release all the dense things that you can do so that you can be ready to serve, ready to lead ready to lead by example, ready to help the waves of awakening and be of support to them. That's the best way you can prepare, but physical preparation, if it makes you feel good, knowing that there could be a bit of a blackout that's not, not permanent and not scary, okay? But if it lasted for a week or two, or at the very most 30 days, like what would you want? Oh, my ears just popped when I said 30 days, okay. What would you want to have at home? right and and not doing this in a fear way at all would you want to have a bit of cash would you want to have food would you want to have you know i was thinking like it's really hard to get the cat food that i that i get for my cat so i'm like well why not have just an extra month supply of that you know find a closet or a basement or somewhere where you can just have a little bit of a a storage spot and that might just also help your nervous system too but again this is not a fearful thing it does not have to be it's just that the systems that our world is running on right now are pretty delicate and we're getting a lot of stronger energies okay so so just expect that and it's not it's not a bad thing and it's not a scary thing okay 